So this is a day late video, but we're all late. We should be back on track soon. I don't know when the next person can upload, but just go back to normal now. It's all cool. We're, we're, we're good. We're good. So I am actually in the middle of a couple of books this time. So I am going to include three, which I've only actually read one all the way through. And I'm not going to be very good at reviewing them, obviously, because I've not finished all of them. I will start with one of the ones I'm halfway through because it's on the top of the pile. And this is The Bermuda's Triangle. It's a Maureen Johnson book and it's splash proof so I can read it in the bath. So I have read one other Maureen Johnson book, which was the Shades of London one, and I really enjoyed it. So I immediately went out and bought six other by Maureen Johnson because that's how I buy things and that's why I don't have any money the rest of the month. This is a young adult novel and um, it's about two people in a group of three girls and they kind of fell in love or as far as I can see so far they are falling in love. I don't know how it's going to turn out to be honest. It's Maureen Johnson, so it might be alright. She does think weirdly and doesn't do the stereotypical storytelling things. So I am looking forward to finding out how it ends. I'm probably going to take this when I go on holiday um, in March because it's a holiday book. It's meant to be anyway. Go ahead and splash around all you want. Sit by the pool, smear on the sunscreen, which I won't be doing because I'm going to Islam in the Lake District. But that will be coming with me. And... I'll hopefully finish it and be able to give you a proper review. This is basically just a video of me telling you about the things that I'm doing in my life and the books that I'm carrying with me, but I hope that's cool. So this is the book that I've actually finished. I've read it before um, and I read it again. It's Hetty Feather. It's a Jacqueline Wilson book. I will always read Jacqueline Wilson because she is a wonderful person. Um, this book is different from her other ones. Um, as you may know, Jacqueline Wilson writes children's books. This one was inspired by The Lottie Project, where one of the characters writes half, half the chapters are about a Victorian maid. This is about a girl who is given to a foundling hospital in Victorian times when she was a baby, and it's about her growing up and going to her foster mother and then going back into the hospital which it's not in the hospital, it's kind of just an orphanage really, where they train boys to be soldiers and girls to be maids. This bit focuses on her childhood. Um, I love that it's, even though it's set in a completely different time, it feels the same as her other books, the language, it's always really relatable. Because I've been reading these from a really young age, I just, as I know as soon as I pick up the book exactly what it's going to be like. And, Hetty, the, the character herself, she has so many flaws. She's a bit obnoxious, stubborn, and she wants her own way all the time. And she's just so nice to read that she's not this nice little... I said nice twice, now three times. Oh, no! I need to learn some more words. So, yes, yeah, she's not a, just a girl that does as she's told or is all properly Victorian girl. She's wants her own way, she doesn't want to be a maid, she wants to go and marry her foster brother which isn't as weird as it sounds. Victorian times, you can get away with so much. I'm done talking about this one, I'm going to drop it on the floor with the other one. And the last book, which I've only just started reading, is this one, Into the Wild Nerd Yonder. Which is about a girl who has some friends who go punk and she's like, what do I do? So she goes nerd. I've only got into about like this far in at the minute so she's not actually started being nerdy yet but this is kind of what I did I had some friends and then I moved away to university and then I made friends with some kind of rocky people and I thought no that's no good so I brought my nerdy friend with me and we nerded it up together which I have a nerdy shirt it's just a, a ne shirt at the minute the way this is written is how I write stories it's, I usually start my stories with a history of the characters and their friends and this did the same thing so it was weird to read it back and I got a bit annoyed with it which must mean that the stories I write are a little annoying too but what are you going to do? This person got published during it so I should be cool I'm going to go now because I've nearly hit five minutes and I'm hitting five minutes now, goodbye!